What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is going to be a quick review. A P71 just uh, came to my office as well as three Lenovo Carbon 5th generation. So it should be a fun day setting stuff up. Let's take a look inside. Of course these are powerful systems. They do not build them small. Look at the size of this thing. Man. This thing is huge. Look at that next to the next to the Carbons. These things are so cute. They're so cute. This is what a man works with. This is what an executive works with. You get me? So cute. Oh my goodness, isn't that so cute? Look how cute. Oh yeah, look at that power bar. More power. And a giant battery that will get you through the apocalypse. Good stuff. Good stuff. Clip. Oh, I love those batteries. Looks like you can actually get to the hard drive and the RAM. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look. Looks like we got two spots for M2 hard drives, two spots for RAM. I believe. Only. Okay, so there's no RAM in here. Apparently, it's all on the, the motherboard. That is so cool. Wow, I got two spots open. Oh, I'm gonna upgrade this. And I think I got, I think I got a standard platter hard drive, but it was the kind of thing that I could either get a standard platter or an SSD for an unreasonable amount of more money. So I'm just going this way, then I'm going to upgrade. And it looks like I can uh, have another card here, Wi-Fi, and let's take a look at the sides. USB. Is that a disk drive? Yeah. No, that's good. What is that? Maybe nothing, but still. Hey, I'm just, this is the first time for me looking at it. I'm un unediting, unscripted. Wow, a lot of stuff over there. Headsets, seen a lot of headsets. USB, USB, something, display, or sorry, USB then display. Why do I have a piece of paper on here? Sweet. I can extend this. Awesome. So, since I can use an SD card here, I think I will uh, go ahead and upgrade it. Yep, 64 megabytes SD card. There you go. Now we're playing with power. Geez, I almost forgot to take a look at the back. We got two USB-C, HDMI. I think it's the first time I've ever seen HDMI in the back of a system. Network, remember ladies and gentlemen, real men use hardwire. And power, it's got the old school kind of power. Yep, looks like we got a Western Digital Black 500 gigs, uh, 7200 RPM. I'll just upgrade that to an SSD right now. Anyways, about the packing. There's something I don't like about this plastic stuff. Like, for one, I don't even know if I can recycle this in my area. Like, I'll try, and if I can't recycle it, I guess at least I'm, I'm uh, giving more jobs to people in the recycling center, I guess. So it looks like this spot on the side is a place that I can, uh, well if I get the right bracket I can have a secondary hard drive or CD, DVD, Blu-ray player. Not bad. Not bad. So we just noticed this, this little thing. Looks like it's a switch. It's a piece of plastic at the right hand side there. I uh, don't want to mess with it just yet though. All right, so this system is running at eight gigabytes with an i7 2.8 gigahertz with, geez, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cores. Yeah, okay. And uh, for video card, we've got NVIDIA Quadro M620. I'm uh, kind of lamenting only getting eight gigabytes for this because all of a sudden, I don't know if an update's come out or something's going on, but 8 gigs just doesn't seem enough for CAD anymore on a Windows 10 system. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It is benchmark time. Yeah. That's right ladies and gentlemen, what's more fun than waiting for updates? Waiting for a benchmark. Man. Almost done. I was about to say I love this part with the jellyfish, but I messed up. Oh my god, it's warp speed. 
Yeah, you, you know what? It was running really well until we got up to about this point. Oh, this is, we're testing the Intel graphics here. Okay. Of course, uh, workstations usually come with two video cards. One that uses less power and one that uses more power. This is the one that uses less power. So good. Psychedelic. That's what I'm talking about. Whee! Alright, so let's take a quick look at what we got. Looks like you got a past mark ranking of uh, 2,907. That's the 65th percentile. CPU mark. Second graphics mark. 3D graphics mark. Memory mark. And disk mark. Okay, let's uh, break that down and uh, see exactly what everything is. Um, I'll do this later. So not bad, <clears throat> not great. I definitely, I definitely wish I got the 16 gig version, but I suppose that I can always uh, bump that later on. Wow, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's not too good. Let's take a look at the CPU. Passmark does not particularly like this system. It's not going to make me wonder exactly what Passmark wants. Huh. I feel like I'm playing a Japanese game here. No matter what I do, it's not good enough. Wow, that's bad. Well, the system seems to run good enough for me. And uh, I'll give you an update on how it goes for the CAD user. But yeah, I like it. Nice big system. Makes the uh, other ones look small and cute by comparison. Anyways, this is it for me, guys. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, and have a good one.